D-R-A-C-U-L-E-M-I-H-A-W-K a former noble? Not necessarily a celestial dragon. Dracul Mahak is easily the most mysterious warlord of the original seven, we know a few things about him, such as He had daily duels with Shanks He trained Zoro in the usage of armament hockey, observation too probably His bounty is unknown He lives on a deserted island, within a castle, with Perona now He's known as, the greatest swordsman in the world Dracula is based off Dracula, see Vlad III Dracula, who is Prince of Wallachia. Some of these can relate to the possibility that Mahak was a former noble, please keep in mind not all nobles are celestial dragons. Mahak's unknown bounty could possibly mean that he had no bounty to begin with kinda like when Blackbeard became a warlord. Mahak could have been bored with being a noble so he decided to venture out on the seas. The fact that he lives in a castle could be kinda like an old habit sorta thing and enjoys drinking wine and sitting back. He is also very stoic and prefers to do things on his own, probably believes working with others is a sign of weakness or he just prefers to keep to himself. His ship is also a one-seater. But with green flames on the candles of his ship. Green symbolizes fertility and money, among other things. So he probably lived in an area with a lot of greenery as well. His character design looks similar to that of Athos of the Three Musketeers who hid his identity as a count. Athos would also drown his secret sorrows in alcohol akin to how Mahak would drink alone in his castle. Perhaps this means he didn't like his life as a noble or had a rough childhood. What if his parents thought him as useless for some reason or abandoned him because of his infamous eyes? Red in the manga, yellow in the anime, then Mahak went out to sea to prove that he can make something of himself and eventually became the greatest swordsman in the world? Athos apparently quit being a warrior which might also mean the possibility that Mahak will eventually resign from the warlords. Asterisk theory by Pirate King Monkey D. Luffy